welcome back. We are here together again today to talk to you about our February favorites. These are the things that we have been loving this month and we want to share them with you. So Abby's going to kick it off. All right. So for you, I have something that stems from my tendency to be a perfectionist, but to also be slightly lazy. So I have the Guterman thread chart and the YKK zipper color chart. So this is really awesome because it is like 700 different, Ooh. yeah, oh. check this out. 700 different threads and it's not just a picture of the color, it's actual thread. So you can take your project that um, you're getting ready to sew up and check which one it matches with. If you don't live close to a store where you can go pick up a thread, then you can easily order it online and have it sent right to you. Um, or if you just don't feel like running out to Joann's, then you could still just order it online. Um, I really like my thread to match. I'll sometimes even buy three different ones for my serger, so this is great for me. And then of course with your zippers, which I find there is no selection at Joann's Hancock's. For zippers, you have pretty much your standard black, white, cream. So this is really, really helpful for ordering zippers online because it's impossible to just look at a color online yeah. and pick out a zipper. And even with the invisible zippers where you don't see the tape, this is also the color of the pulley yes, thing. And that pull. you can that's see huge. on every single one. So, yes. that's so those really are cool. very helpful. And these really weren't that expensive. They're around 30 bucks. And I mean, if you live somewhere in the middle of nowhere and you really don't have access to a shop, then I think that these would be really beneficial. Also for planning ahead, you know, yes. like if you're going to just, you bought a bunch of fabric at the store and you can go ahead and knock out all yeah, of the notions. I don't want to lug all my fabric back yes, to the store. Yes, I'll sometimes cut also, swatches. Yeah, sometimes I don't want to cut a swatch because I'm like, yeah, that's going to be the amount it. of fabric that I'm like, oh, if I yeah. hadn't cut that swatch. Yeah. yeah. Or sometimes the swatch isn't even big enough, mm -hmm. you know, you don't get all of the different. colors in there. That's true. Yeah. So mine is a find that I recently came across on Instagram, and it is a company called Stately Type, um, and they make t-shirts. They screen print t-shirts, and they recently came out with a whole sewing um, section on, on their website. It's a whole uh, collection of just sewing um, themed t-shirts, and they're really cute. Um, they have... Some of them just say like sew a needle pulling thread and it has like thread going through it. One of them says no regrets and it has seam rippers crossed over each other. Um, some really creative and cute um, sewing t-shirt designs that I haven't really seen before. And I just thought it was really cool and cute and I love them. I wish I had one to show you here today, but I haven't ordered them yet. So I have to make a decision. <laughs> yeah, they're they're really um, adorable. So um, I'll leave the website down below for you guys to go check them out. Awesome. Okay. So my February favorite is kind of sewing geeky. Um, it's interfacing, <laughs> but not just any interfacing. I've um, somewhere someone recommended this fashion sewing supply .com has amazing interfacing and so once you use this you really won't want to go back to using anything that you could just buy at a store. Um, I've been using, I've got a couple different ones that I ordered. This is the Pro um, Tricot, is it Tricot? Yeah, yeah. Um, Deluxe so. and it's a knit interfacing which is really awesome. I might need to buy some of that. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Um, so I've used that on I was working on yeah. this knit blazer and it just gave it the perfect amount of structure but it kept like the drape of the knit mm -hmm. fabric. It just feels so much nicer. It makes you feel like you're Yeah, that one you get at Joanne's is almost like meshy. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then they've got a whole bunch of different types. I've got also, this is uh, their Sheer Elegance which is good for like a drapey, like a rayon or something if you've got like a placket that needs interfacing, um, it just adds the perfect amount to one of those drapey fabrics. Mm -hmm. So this would be comparable to the SF101 probably. I guess, I haven't been <laughs> using the ones from this store. I like, I love these so much. Like I don't even think I bought like the proper type before this. Yeah. So this is a huge step up for me. Um, so that one, and then I've got this light crisp one 
which I'm going to use for like a button down shirt for collars and cuffs. Mm -hmm. That's going to be perfect. Yeah. yeah. They've got a slightly heavier one if you're doing like a men's dress shirt, but I think that one's good perfect. for like the fabric that I've got. Mm -hmm. And then um, the actual first reason that I bought this was um, this is the Pro Weft Supreme. And so I bought some really nice wool from Mood to make a little coat. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to interface that um with the pro oh wow so i've also used some of this to interface the flies of my jeans because mm -hmm. that only takes like a little bit and the prices of these it ranges from around seven dollars a yard up to 15 or 16 and these are for their fusible they also have sewing interfacing as well but it a little goes a long way like unless i'm interfacing all the pieces of my jacket it really lasts well if you're just interfacing like collars and cuffs so that kind of makes that yardage price worth it because mm -hmm. it lasts. And they also include like a list of instructions on um, how to fuse it best so you know that you're doing it right and then just um, she really goes into detail about which interfacing works for which fabric so it's really handy so that is my sewing favorite. We also wanted to share a few things that make our sewing a little more enjoyable during the month of February. Um, I've discovered recently more sewing podcasts, which I really love to listen to while I'm sewing because I don't have to watch it. I can watch what I'm sewing, but I can still listen to it. Um, so I've got a couple, and I've just got this app on my phone that's podcast. Which I didn't even know that app was on the phone, yeah. so I'm looking forward that's to That's the Apple app. Podcast app, yeah. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they have other podcast apps for other mm -hmm. but So I've just discovered I've got the Sewing Out Loud podcast, which is fun. I've got um, Raina Lay Designs. She has a lot of great interviews with sewing professionals and even like fashion designers and fashion illustrators. Um, Seamwork Radio, um, that's the Colette mm -hmm. one. Um, and then I've got like archived ones that I missed since I've just kind of been getting into this. Um, Thread Cult, the Sewing Affair podcast, and so forth now. They haven't been putting out any new episodes, I wish they would, but it's still there are a lot of great episodes in the archives that you can kind of go back and listen. Cool. So, yeah, we'll see out. about um, getting Amber's playlist and sharing that with yeah, you guys. Yeah, if you guys have any ones that I've missed, I'd love, you know, you could leave that in the comments and I'll definitely check those out too. Perfect. Well, for me, I, when I sew, I like to sip on something lovely and it's not what you think it is, <laughs> not alcohol, um, but it's hot tea. I have really jumped on the hot tea bandwagon. Um, you've probably seen a lot of people talking about um, hot teas. So this one is the Tea Forte Single Steeps. Um, they have some really unique flavors that I love, like cucumber mint and lychee coconut and cherry marzipan. I mean, don't those just sound so delicious? Um, but they're all tea, and they all have their own benefits. This is their Skin Smart collection, so it's all beneficial to help you have radiant skin from the inside out. I mean, who doesn't want that? Um, so, February, yeah. February, when it's going out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You need to hydrate during yes. these drier months. Um, but yeah, I also have lots of Yogi brand teas, um, and really love theirs. I mean, there's, you know, those come in the bag, so that's nice and convenient too. But yeah, I love to sip on tea whenever I'm sewing. You just make sure you keep it far away from anything yeah. in case it spills. Yeah, just, I have had exactly. one accident, but it fell off the table, not onto the table. So that was actually better. <laughs> I preferred, I preferred that, but, um, but yeah, it's nice and relaxing. You want to tea stain some fabric. No, we did do that at your house not too long ago, but um, yeah, not intentional. Yeah. No. And some of these aren't even like the brown. They're like red or you know, <laughs> I mean, maybe that's what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I love tea. Very cool. So when I sew, I'm usually not the type of person to just show, sew for an hour. I'm usually in it for the long run. So I'll sew for a day. I like to really get a project done. So 
I usually like to really get into it. I usually have Law & Order on in the background and I like to light a candle and just make it very enjoyable. So this is a candle actually that's made locally in here in Charleston. It's called Rewind and they make it out of old glass bo um, wine bottles, which is I think really super cool. Um, and they're all different scents of wine. They're all related to wine. So my favorite is the Rosé. Does have a hint of roses in it. Uh, they do say what the description is, I think, on the back. Yes, no, so rose petal, white peach, pink peppercorn. Um, and they're just really amazing. And I love that they're made locally, but you guys can order these online. So if you have any friends to need gifts for that are big wine lovers, or not wine lovers. Yeah. I don't love wine. Yeah, I don't actually love wine. I think wine it smells either. great. That one's my favorite. I highly recommend the rose. Yeah, I like cool. the champagne one. It's champagne one, yeah. Yeah, they're really unique. Yeah, good for them. That's what I have. Just don't get your fabric in the flame. Yeah, <laughs> these are nowhere near my fabric. <laughs> that would be bad. So, those are our favorites. We would love to hear what you're loving for the month of February. If you want to leave it in the comments below, we love hearing new things. So, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. And, of course, we're all on all social media, so you can follow us there. So, until next time, guys. See ya. Bye.